Hi everyone, this is Joy Banerjee from AIK Support, and in this video, I will show you up how you can install InfoScale uh, storage. Okay, so this is a product which we want to focus, and if you want to uh, see our last video, you can check it out, and which is about InfoScale, what exactly the InfoScale is. So uh, we have already discussed about it. So right now we are focused on installing InfoScale storage, which is uh, equivalent to Veritas Volume Manager. Okay, so it's a Veritas product with a new package and let's see how we can do it okay so let me tell you what ex uh, what exactly I have done so far okay so I have built new machine I have joined it to the domain I have given a static IP address to it okay so if I can uh, go to server manager and go to local server so you can see uh, the computer name is uh, window win hyphen storage and the domain is aiklab.local okay and it also has a static IP address which is 192.168.0.20 okay so these are the settings which I have done also I have mapped the installer ISO to this particular server okay so this is my installer and these are the tools okay so I have two uh, virtual CD ROMs which I have mapped it here and let me open the installer uh, CD okay so you can see uh, by default we have a uh, executable application from where we can install to install that I need to right click and open or run as administrator I will click yes so in this particular uh, console you can see uh, it gives you a little bit of information about the product okay so it has uh, Veritas InfoScale Enterprise Veritas InfoScale Storage it has Veritas InfoScale availability and also it has InfoScale foundation okay so uh, all th all four uh, editions and they have uh, their own um, uh, product uh, inside them so at this moment we will be installing the InfoScale storage okay which is having uh, the Veritas volume manager uh, with a new pack okay so in this component what exactly we are trying to do is we will install the server component as well as the client component of Veritas InfoScale storage okay to do that I can click here and it will try to in open the installer and execute it okay so it is just giving you a little bit of information what exactly you need okay so for us uh, it should be a Windows Server 2008 R2 and also need to have this particular KB to be installed but at this moment we are installing to a higher version so which is Windows Server 2012 and what I believe it we don't require it okay so the second point is uh, the logon uh, user uh, sh should be uh, local administrator privilege okay so I have logged in with a domain um, admin and that is by default is having the local admin privilege okay and I will also uh, uh, prefer to uh, start the installation with a console session okay not a normal RDP session if you try to um, take a RDP make sure you are in a console session because when you try to install if there is any error that will pop up only in the console session okay so all the utilities and the client application and the wizards and the product upgrade are closed uh, no parallel installation live update Microsoft Windows updates in progress so we need to make sure these things are done and the administrator shares and access on the internet oh, if we have put this particular thing in the um, shared location the host name can be resolved uh, to their respective IP address okay so that means we need to have a DNS which should resolve this thing okay and also we need to uh, we need to be sure that that Windows uh, management instrumentation service is in a running state okay so uh, at this moment I'm just doing a uncheck to product updates okay and one more thing I can do I can I can I can I can try to open services I will quickly try to uh, validate that Windows uh, management instrumentation service is in running state okay okay so I can click next 
it will try to load the uh, agreement for us uh, this is the sequence which we'll try to do so we will accept this particular agreement and if you want we can also participate uh, and at this moment I'm just unchecking it okay I will click next okay so by default it is putting up like local host and if you want to put a IP address that can be uh, done as well okay so if I can use local host and click add here so it will try to validate the name you can see it's validating from the DNS which gives us Windows hyphen storage it has been validated with AD and the DNS okay you can do a re-verify as well if there is any error okay so uh, let's move on to this particular section okay so it gives us uh, that installation option for Windows storage and the product size is uh, about uh, 1124 MB okay this is the space you need in the installer directory so at this moment we have uh, picking it for C drive and in the C drive we have enough space what I believe okay that's fine okay we have enough space okay so uh, what are the products we are trying to install so at this moment you can see we are trying to install Veritas InfoScale storage 7.1 for Windows okay so that is having a DMP uh, which is DMP uh, we will talk about these things in deeper way in our course which we are building up okay so DMP is basically a uh, dynamic multipathing um, if we have multipath for the storage uh, storage devices okay uh, storage uh, disks if we call it storage disk so to understand the multipathing we need to have a device specific um, um, module which which can really understand the multipathing thing okay so if we are using a solution which is uh, info scale storage or a Veritas volume manager so we need to put a DMP which can be controlled and which can understand the multipathing solution okay which is there in the back end so if I uh, open this you can see there is a multiple uh, storage uh, uh, multipathing solutions are there which we can pick from okay so at this moment I will go with default and choosing all the things but in your case if you are doing it for the production you need to just make sure if you have EMC uh, let's say if you have EMC Symmetrix, DMA, DMX or any, any anything like that so you will choose the specific library only not not choosing everything so at this moment uh, we are just doing in a demo environment so I'm just putting it here um, everything at this moment okay so um, you can see I'm just tr trying to install the storage foundation option along with it is giving you a Microsoft failover cluster okay and you can see we are doing an installation got license uh, key if you have a license key you can put it here but otherwise we are going for keyless and if we select keyless then it will work for 60 days okay so after that you would require a license to be put in okay so it looks fine as of now and it is also giving you a little bit of summary that it's a fresh install system name is this a domain name is this okay and the operating system is Windows Server 2012 Server Edition okay I can click next so you can see you have notified uh, uh, you have not modified uh, the installation option and following system installer is a default installation and to modify the installation you need to um, do a specific uh, pre-install basis and specific installation option or one uh, one system then uh, we need to uh, if we are doing for multiple system then we need to uh, select the things uh, as it is okay so uh, do you want to continue uh, with the default options yes we are ready for it so we'll select yes okay so to validate and report uh, warning some systems please check the warnings before you continue to wish uh, wish to installation okay so that means when uh, we will try to install uh, it may uh, pop out with uh, warnings on errors so it is make sure we just uh, check all the errors and warnings and we try to resolve them okay and then move forward with installation okay so also we need to um, ensure in in case of windows we need to enable the mpio feature which is there by default in this particular um, server okay then only the after installing the mpio then only a dsm can work on okay so i'll click okay so it will give you a little bit of warning uh, the things which we have selected and um, um, it's a keyless installation so what I believe is uh, the thing which we have uh, popped out I will fix those then I will initiate the installation again so I will cancel this I will click OK okay and I will go to server manager 
and then I will go to manage and select add roles and features so in this thing we, we will be trying to enable uh, the MPIO from here okay so I will uh, skip roles I will go to uh, uh, directly to feature section and pick up the MPIO which is multipath IO I will select this I will click next I will install so installation is done I will close this and uh, I will go to notification it says the installation is successful okay I can close this and I can start the installer again okay so this time I will move it a bit faster I will uh, move it I will select the license agreement I will uncheck this I will click next I will add it it will validate and it comes with this I will choose the default option I will click next okay you have not modified oh, it's fine I will click yes you will date reported warning some warning so please check it I will check it yes yes okay so we have done that okay so it is giving us a little bit of warning that we are doing a keyless installation and it will work for 60 days so we know that and I will click next so um, after the installation it will do a automatic restart if you want to do it manually you just uncheck this and I will click next you can also save this particular report okay I will click next you have chosen uh, not to reboot uh, you must uh, manually reboot the system after the installation is complete so we know that I will click OK okay so if we show detail and it will show us what exactly going on okay so at this moment you can see the progress is 10 percent it's copied the file now it is moving on and doing the installation okay now you can see the process is completed uh, and we need to do a manual reboot required so I will click next I'll click next and it says finish okay I can close this and I can do a quick reboot okay so after the reboot you can see this particular console will open and from here we can install we can really open and launch the console with us enterprise administration console or we can uh, create a shortcut in our desktop and launch it from there okay so I'll click here I'll click yes I'll click OK okay so the console uh, look quite similar as it was in the previous versions okay uh, you can connect the machine from here either you can put a dot lock dot I will connect okay Hmm. so you can see uh, the installation is complete successfully and this is how it looks and the look if I say as of now it, it quite similar as it is there in previous versions okay and I will do a little bit of more uh, more more uh, R&D on this particular uh, software and will try to create more videos in which you will able to understand how we can uh, do the basic administration with this particular application okay so hope this particular video is informative do subscribe our channel if you like this give me a thumbs up as well okay and please share your comment share your views I will be waiting for that thank you